Hey there! Welcome to English for Everyone. My name's Lisa. Today we're gonna talk about American pronunciation. Let's get started. They claim they have mastered the American accent. They teach American pronunciation. Hey guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Marina and I'm your English language teacher today. Today we're gonna practice and we're gonna learn how Americans pronounce words that we learn. So if you're interested in sounding like an American person, Please continue watching this video. Make sure to check out this playlist because I have saved a lot of videos there where I teach you the American accent in English. American accent in 10 seconds. Okay, somebody asked me to talk with a British accent. I don't have a British accent. I have an American accent. I... Accent is something you cannot fake if you don't have it. You can try to learn it, but if you have never practiced it, you cannot fake it. I've never practiced British accent. I've only practiced American. Okay, so. Thousands of people believe they are learning American pronunciation. But little do they know they are being taught incorrect pronunciation. There are many accents, and there is nothing wrong with having an accent. But this, this is not an accent. Maybe you are pronouncing some words in a wrong way. Let's do a quick test. Calm. Calm, something you use for your hair, calm. And then you have to um, steer. Yes, 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 steer, but not steer. It's like steer, steer very fast. You mean whisk. So for example, did you like the movie? Native speakers will usually say, did you? Did you like the movie? This is not an accent. You're being taught incorrect pronunciation and native speakers will have trouble understanding you. It's a problem. There are a lot of accents, and there is nothing wrong with having an accent. And if you're learning the British accent or the Scottish accent, it's great. And if you come to the United States, native speakers will understand you. But this, this is not American pronunciation. Studying is an endless process. If you want to be kind of really, really conservative, the actual pronunciation is status. And again, you can continue saying status, but if it's the time when you decide how to pronounce the word status, it's kind of more academic. Process? Status? It's not American pronunciation. And status is not more correct. And it's not more academic. In American English, we say status, not status. And just because you see someone wearing an American flag shirt or an American flag hat, it doesn't mean they can teach you correct American pronunciation. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to pronounce country adjectives that end with I-A-N. Armenian, Armenian. Armenian? It's not correct to say Armenian. You have to use the long E. Armenian. The country is Armenia, and people from Armenia are Armenians, and they speak Armenian, not Armenian. You are being taught incorrect English. Armenian brandy. I'm Armenian. That's some Armenian guy with a history of mental health problems. Which is something, considering how long it took him to get over my not being Armenian. This is not correct. Do you want to speak with a very beautiful American accent, improve your pronunciation, and talk like a Native American? Then watch this video to the very end. I cannot say video, video. You use the letter V, so you have to make the V sound. To make this sound correctly, put your bottom lip touching your teeth, V, and make a vibration. When you do this, the position of your mouth is important. We cannot make it like this, V. We have to make it straight across and relaxed, like this, v -v -v video. Again, the word is video, not video. Now being told that we're cutting to a video GCN has just received. I was recording a video message for Central, updating them. The way we got it, though, is a video production crew that we work with from time to time. It's a video of a bunch of French people in a bookstore reading poetry, I think. Look. This is also not correct. In this way, you can improve your accent and pronunciation as well as your lessening. I cannot say lessening, lessening. The word is pronounced listening, listening. We have the letter I making the short 
I sound like this is. Correct pronunciation? L, l, listening. I cannot say lessening. I cannot use the short e sound for the first syllable. I have to use the short i sound. Listening, not lessening. Are you listening to me? Yeah. He said God is listening, but I have to help myself. You put in your 20 minutes of listening, and now you want to be rewarded. Because you people and 62 million other Americans are listening to me right now. Are you even listening to me? I wasn't the one listening in through the door. I was sitting there listening to all their stories. This is also not correct. So what do they say? Instead of I'm, say um. Um. Instead of all, say oh. So we have um, oh, right. I cannot say oh, right. Oh, right. The word has two pronunciations. Some people say all right, and they pronounce the L. All right. The first vowel is the sound aw, aw, like in words call and ball. The sound is back here, aw, aw. All right. Some people don't pronounce the L, but they keep the same vowel aw. Not o, but aw. If we eliminate the L, it sounds like this. Aw, all right, all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. Not I'm o right, but I'm all right. So you can pronounce the L, all right, I'm all right. Or you can eliminate the L and say I'm all right. But use the vowel aw. Don't use the vowel o. It's not o right. It's all right. All right or all right. Rogue two, are you all right? Yeah. Are you all right, sir? Are you all right? What's wrong? Are you all right? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. No. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. yeah. This is also not correct. I would probably move to another city. Do native speakers say I would probably? No. Native speakers remove the second B. And instead of probably, they say probably. 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 I cannot say probably. No one says probably. This word has two pronunciations. You can say probably, probably, or you can say probably. So you can pronounce it with three syllables, probably, or you can pronounce it with two syllables, probably, probably. But we cannot say probably. It's probably with three syllables or probably, probably with two syllables. Uh, what's the problem for you? You, bro. <laughs> what? What you probably don't realize is that we have a lot of old men on this ward who couldn't hear the music if we turned it lower. I'm sorry, you probably want to get this over with. You probably don't remember me, but we once met in the men's room. As you probably know, this is where we keep our most incorrigible prisoners. I know you probably don't believe that, but he hasn't. You probably don't remember me, but I worked on your septic line years ago. This is also not correct. Well, native speakers say Lidl. Lidl. The word is not pronounced Lidl. We do not say Lidl. The word is pronounced Little. Little. The first vowel is a short I, like this is. L, L. Not Li, but L. Little. The second syllable is not L, it's O, O. It's a short sound plus a dark L. O, O. Like when you say table or bottle. It's a short sound, uh, uh, plus a dark L. O, O, O. So the word is little, little. But I hear Byron Hadley started sobbing like a little girl when they took him away. And if you've come this far, maybe you're willing to come a little further. Open up a little hotel. Right on the beach. You need a little religion in your life as bad as you need fattening up. Yeah, he might need a little help with her conversion, and officiating the wedding. I just need a little more time. One of my patients is staying with you and I'm afraid I need a little help with him. We'll have us a little book barbecue in the yard. Let me know if you need a little help with your mom. This is also not correct. 
Sometimes when they speak really fast, they don't even say de and they say lil. We don't pronounce the word lil, lil. Some people, when they're talking really fast, will pronounce it lil, lil, lil. Not lil, but lil. I'm a little tired. But you don't have to pronounce it like that. Pronounce it like little. Little is the most common pronunciation. We're having a little bit of a problem in there. I got a little bit of savings. Agnes, she's got a little bit of a problem with low blood sugar. I think we got a little bit of a problem with this guy. A little bit of a thousand souls. This is also not correct. How do native speakers pronounce it? Instead of was, we've learned that they say was. The word is not pronounced was, was. It's pronounced was. We're using the short sound like cup and up. Uh, uh. Relaxed. Uh, uh. Together, was, was. Not was, but was. And when they fly away, the part of you that knows it was a sin to lock them up does rejoice. No one cared about my opinion when I was a little kid. <laughs> that father of yours, he's done a heck of a job, so uh, this was a lot of fun for me, too. And get this. She goes, let's go to your place. Really? Do tell. Well, it was a lot of fun. My father was a drinker and a fiend. Yes, sir. And it was a regular cottage industry. This is also not correct. Instead of what, they remove the T and say wa. Wa was. Wa was. So instead of what was, they say wa was. We do not say wa was. No one says wa was. The first word, what, the vowel in what is a short sound like cup, up, uh, uh. Together, what, what. And we don't remove the T, we just change the pronunciation of the T. When you say what was. The T is a stop T. You put the tongue up and you stop the air. What was. What was. And there are two ways to stop the air. You can also stop the air in your throat. Like this. What. What. The tongue stays down because I stop the air in my throat. I tighten my throat to stop the air. What was. What was. So we have two pronunciations. You can say what was. Stopping the air with your tongue up, touching the roof of your mouth. What was, what was. Or I can stop the air in my throat by tightening my throat. What, what was, what was, what was that? Again, what was that or what was that? Hey, what was that? What was that all about? What was that all about? What was that? Jeffrey, what was that all about? What was your response? What was his name? The Departed. Miles Kennefick. Got what was that all about? What was his name? What was his name? What was that all about? <laughs> we named him after your eccentric uncle. Uh, what was his name? What was his name? This is also not correct. Come on, man. He's your best friend. He would sell it to you at a dead cheap price. We cannot say at a dead cheap price. The word is dirt. Dirt. At a dirt cheap price. The word dirt has IR followed by a consonant. When you see IR followed by a consonant, it makes the er sound, like burger. Make a voice here. It's a low position. Er, er, dir, dirt. The T is a stop T, so stop the air. At the end, dirt, dirt cheap. And link the sounds. At a dirt cheap price. That means a very, very cheap price. Body work and paint jobs done lightning fast and dirt cheap. This thing is dirt cheap. What Russians? I bought it black market and dirt cheap from a Belgian arms dealer in Kazakhstan. This is also not correct. But sometimes, guys, you might hear people drop the K completely and say, don't ask me. And that's it. And it's completely correct. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. When you say don't ask me, don't drop the K completely. We need to make the position of the K, but we don't release the sound. We don't say K but we need to make the position. If I drop the K completely, it's don't ask me, don't ask me. This is not correct. I need the position of the K. Don't ask, see my mouth makes the position of the K. Don't ask me. You don't really hear it, but you need to make that position. Don't ask me. This happens when the K is between consonants. 
You make the position of the K, but you don't release the sound. Example, he asked me a question. It's not he asked me, asked me a question. We make the position of the K because the K is between consonants. He asked, I make the position, but I don't release. I don't say he asked me. It's he asked, he asked me. He asked me a question. Did you, did you just ask me to marry you? Then why did you ask me about it? Please don't ask me. Don't ask me to do that. Just don't ask me to do it again. So are you going to ask me to marry you or what? But you can't ask me to do something that I can't do. This is also not correct. And today we have something special happening. We're doing our course of intermediate English until she gets used to using a laptop. After get used to, we need to say ing. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. We cannot pronounce ing like ing, ing. There's no g sound. It's ing. We have two pronunciations for ing. I can say working or working, working, which is the n sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's working. That focus has led to purpose and working hard to get my life back. I think it's working. Because you're still working for Cohagen. Going to bed, Frank. I've been working all night. You're still working on that one. So the two sounds. I have ing, where I make the sound in my nose. Mm, mm, mm. Working. Or I can make the N sound. Working. Working. But I cannot say working. Working. This is not correct. It sounds strange. This is not correct. Okay, so the trick here is the two consonant sounds back to back. It's the voice TH, th, and then z right after. So you just gotta practice and take it slow. Z, z. Clothes. You know, it's gonna get more comfortable for you for sure the more you do it. But yeah, a lot of native speakers even say clothes as in clothes, which is weird. So don't make that mistake. It's not a mistake. It's not a mistake that some Americans make. It's the way Americans pronounce it. There is no TH sound. It is pronounced close like close the door. I'm wearing clothes. The TH is silent. I know if you look in dictionaries, they say the TH sound is there, but it's not. But don't take my word for it. Let's listen to some examples. But when your father didn't get his way, oh, mama. he takes all his clothes off and starts meditating in the middle of the room. Come in, take your clothes off. But I'd rather a bunch of guys stare at me with my clothes off than the way these ones stare at me. I got off the streets. New hair, new clothes, new job. Oh, she kidnapped herself and took her own clothes out of the closet. She had just found out she was pregnant and he came home from the laundromat with wet clothes in the hamper. Can't photograph them without their clothes on. Did you hear the TH sound? I didn't either. And I don't make the TH sound when I speak. I say clothes. I'm wearing clothes. I want to buy some new clothes. Just use the zebra sound zzz, at the end. So if you want to sound more natural and sound like a native speaker, pronounce this word clothes. Don't try to make the TH sound. It's not clothes. This is not correct. Okay, advanced English learners. Let's check how advanced you actually are. Let's go. This job doesn't offer much opportunity to exercise my creativity. It's not correct to say exercise. It's pronounced exercise. Use the long I, exercise. It can be a noun or a verb. For example, it's a good exercise or I like exercising. Let's practice. What do you think? Do you think it's a good exercise? Do you like exercising? Good job. This is not correct. Number nine. Yeah, you probably think, what? This is so easy. Well, you know what? You'll be surprised, but a lot of native speakers say February, where, you know, there's clearly an R there. It is actually February. February, it's a mouthful. It's, it's a lot to handle, but it's actually February, not February, February. We know the R is there, but most of the time we don't pronounce it. We don't say February. We don't pronounce the R. It's pronounced February. And last February, we were at 66 a share. How do you like Wisconsin in February? Using the long U, 
like you and few. Feb-u. Link the sound u after the b. Bu. February. Now we have to link you, air. Air like air and hair. When we link you and air, we have a sound in the middle. It's like a W sound. Wuh, 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 wuh. You wary. Febu, wuh, wuh. February. February. Let's talk about dates. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Don't forget the TH sound at the end, 14th. We need those special numbers for dates. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. The preposition on is optional. You don't have to say it. You can say Valentine's Day is February 14th. Or Valentine's Day is on February 14th. When talking about dates, can I say the 14th? Valentine's Day is on the 14th of February? This is technically correct, but it's very formal. When people talk, they don't use this form. But if it's the name of the holiday, for example, the 4th of July. We use it for this one because it's the name of the holiday, the 4th of July. But with other dates, change the order. Put the month first, February 14th. Let's practice. When is Valentine's Day? That's right. Valentine's Day is February 14th. So remember, don't say February, say February. Maybe you are pronouncing some words in a wrong way. Let's do a quick test. Calm. Calm. Something you use for here. Calm. It's not calm. We cannot use the short ah sound like hot and stop. Calm. We have to use the long o sound like no and go. We pronounce this word comb. O. Make the long o sound. Comb. And remember, the B is silent. Don't pronounce the B. Comb. So comb is the noun, it's the thing. I have a comb. And it's also the verb. I comb my hair in the morning with my comb. Make the long O sound. Comb. If you're interested in speaking English as a native speaker without any mistakes, continue watching this video. There is a subtle difference, so watch me carefully. A lot of people say police, which is not right. It's police, police, <laughs> kind of blowing a candle. We do not say police. You're not blowing out a candle. The word is police, police. We don't use the ah sound like stop and hot. We use the uh, uh, the short sound uh, like cup and up. P, p, police. The stress is on the second syllable, police. It's not on the first syllable. We do not say police. It's police, police. Because the stress is on the second syllable, the first syllable is pronounced relaxed. Uh, uh, p, p, police, police. Remember, with police, always say the, the police. And remember, police is a special word. It's always in the plural. We say the police are coming. You cannot say is, you have to use the plural action are. The police are coming. It's not correct to say this. Try to pronounce it with me, stomach. So it's gonna sta with an A, sta, and then mic with an E, stomach. My stomach is full. This is the right way to pronounce this word. It's not correct to say stomach. It's not ah, like father, it's not an A. It's a short sound, uh, like cup, and up, and cut. Uh, uh, st, st, stomach, stomach. Put the stress on the first syllable, stomach, stomach. A closed sound, uh, uh, stomach. Example. Sometimes my stomach hurts. Stomach. It's not correct to say this. The next word is pizza. And here you can pronounce it like pizza uh, with a stop, with kind of t with air coming out of your mouth. Pizza. Because some people say pizza, which is not right. You kind of have to stop in the middle of the word and say pizza. That's right. We don't say pizza. Pizza. The word is pizza. Pizza. The first vowel is a long E, like green beans. P, pizza. We don't use the short sound I, like milk. 
It's not pizza. It's p, pizza. The second syllable is not stressed. It's pronounced with the relaxed uh. Pizza. Pizza. Use the relaxed uh like cup and up. It's not pizza. It's pizza. Uh, uh. Pizza. Pizza. So when you say the word pizza, remember the second vowel, uh, uh, is a short sound like cup and up. Not an open sound, ah, pizza. It's not ah like hot and stop. It's uh like cup and up. Pizza. It's a closed sound for the second syllable. And make sure the stress is on the first syllable. Pizza. Not pizza, but pizza. I would like pepperoni and mushrooms on my pizza. What would you like on your pizza? Today we're going to learn how to say this word in American English correctly. Let's get started. Feral, feral, wild or savage. In American English, native speakers do not say feral. They say feral, fe, e, like in bed and head, feral. Feral means wild. Feral cats, feral pigs. Did I say she was primitive? I retract that. She's feral. Really easy way to cook feral pig right here. So one day, a feral cat starts eating the mice. My name is Becca Versace, and I am the official feral cat photographer. Feral cats. So remember, in American English, native speakers do not say feral. They say feral. If you want to be kind of really, really conservative, the actual pronunciation is status. And again, you can continue saying status, but if it's the time when you decide how to pronounce the word status, it's kind of more academic. The word is status. In America, we always say status. We never say status. Status is not more correct. It's not better in America. It's just British. They say status in England. But in America, we always say status. It is the only correct pronunciation in American English. Status. We're using the short A sound like apple and black cat. Sta. Status. The T in the middle is pronounced like a fast D. Status. Status. The second syllable is pronounced with a relaxed uh, uh, like cup and up. Status. 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 For example, a status symbol. Some people like to buy expensive cars as a status symbol. I want you to learn how to pronounce them in the right way so you can sound more American and more natural. If you're interested, please continue watching this vlog. It's called Mercedes. Remember, Mercedes. We do not say Mercedes. The last vowel is not I like milk. And this is, it's the long E like green beans. We say Mercedes, Mercedes. The final sound is not S like star. It's Z like zebra, Mercedes, Mercedes. Put the stress on the second syllable, Mercedes. Remember, it's not Mercedes, it's Mercedes. Use a long E sound at the end. Ease, ease, Mercedes. Example, I don't have a Mercedes. I have a Honda. And remember, when you're talking about cars, we say for one, a. Uh, I have a Honda. I don't have a Mercedes. It's not correct to say this. Car just passed by and the car is called Porsche and that's the right way to pronounce it because it's a German name the stress goes yeah. to the first part of the word and we say Porsche remember down, never say no, Porsche like never voice. never yeah. and don't say latte this is like the worst thing I've ever heard it's latte latte is Italian word so if you drink coffee it's latte not latte so we're looking at the pronunciation of two words Porsche and latte first let's talk about Porsche in America People pronounce this word two ways, Porsche and Porsche. Porsche is more correct according to the original pronunciation. But like I said, in America, people say both. You will hear both, Porsche and Porsche. But you will never hear Porsche. You will never hear the long A sound for the last syllable. 
it's always Porsche or Porsche. Now the last syllable is pronounced uh, uh, like cup and up. Not a like say and pay, but uh, like cup and up. Porsche. It's a relaxed sound. The syllable is not stressed. The stress is on the first syllable. Porsche. Porsche. Example, I don't have a Porsche. When I talk about a car, I say, uh, I don't have a Porsche. I have a Honda. But if I talk about the company, Porsche, I don't say, uh, Porsche is made in Germany. Porsche is made in Germany. Or you can talk about the cars. Remember, the cars are countable, so I can also say Porsches. Porsches, more than one car, are made in Germany. So I can say Porsche is made in Germany or Porsches are made in Germany. Both are correct. Now let's talk about latte. We say latte. We don't say latte. The last syllable is the long A. It's not stressed, but we use the long A like say and pay. Latte. Make a long sound. Not the short latte, but the long A. Latte. The first syllable, A. Ah, latte. It's the short O sound like hot and stop. It's a short open sound. A. Ah, A. Ah, latte. Latte. Put the stress on the first syllable. Latte. Latte is countable. It's a prepared drink. So we say, uh, I would like a latte. Or maybe I would like two lattes. Garbage. Some people say garbage. Garbage disposal? But it's actually garbage. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Just exaggerating it. Garbage is wrong. Garbage is right. Garbage. But I know where this mispronunciation is coming from. Because it's written B-A-G-E. Bage, right? But it's actually garbage. No, Americans are not wrong. They're not pronouncing this word wrong. There are three pronunciations for this word garbage. Garbage. The second syllable is not stressed. Garbage. For this syllable, we have three pronunciations. You can use the uh sound, like cup and up. Garbage. Garbage. And if you look in the dictionary, that's what you'll see. You'll see a schwa sound. The schwa sound is an unstressed uh, uh, like cup and up. So we can make that sound. Garbage but you can also pronounce it with the short e, eh, like eggs and bed. Garbage, garbage, because it's not stressed. And the third correct pronunciation is idj, idj, using the short i, eh, like this is, milk. I, I, garbage, garbage. So three pronunciations are correct. When the syllable is not stressed, you can pronounce it with the a, uh, the e, eh, or the I sound. Garbage, garbage, and garbage. All three are correct. Example, salad. Again, the second syllable is not stressed. So you have three choices. You can use the schwa, salad, uh, uh, uh sound, salad. You can use the E eh sound, like eggs, salad, salad. Or the I sound, like milk and this. Salad, I, I, salad. Just make sure you put the stress on the first syllable. Salad, garbage. Example, garbage is the same thing as trash, and it's not countable. We cannot say a garbage or two garbages. It's just garbage. There's garbage in the street. We need to clean up the garbage. The next word is niche, and I say niche, but really, it's better to say niche. And niche is more conservative, more academic, and this is the better way to pronounce the word that refers to a special role or place. Niche instead of niche. It's not more correct or better to say niche. We have two pronunciations and they are the same. Some people say niche and some people say niche. Niche is closer to the original pronunciation that is French. But in America, people say both equally. One is not better or worse than the other. You can say niche or you can say niche. This is not correct. And then you have to um, steer. Yes, 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 steer, but not steer. It's like steer, steer very fast. You mean whisk. Ah, yes. This word is not pronounced steer. It's pronounced stir. 
using the er sound like burger. It's a closed sound, and you make a voice in the back. Here, low, in a low position. Er, er, burger, stir, stir, not steer. Example, he needs to stir the soup. And right now, he's stirring the soup. Let's practice. Does he need to stir the soup? That's right, he needs to stir the soup. Is he stirring the soup right now? That's right, he's stirring the soup right now. This word is pronounced steer. So if you say steer, I'll think of this word. And this word has two meanings. Example, this is a steering wheel. And the verb, the action is steer. You can steer to the right or steer to the left. It's when you turn the steering wheel. And steer can be a noun. It can refer to a bull that cannot have babies anymore. These are two steers, and the steers are helping the farmer. Steer with a long E sound like beer and clear. Steer. Let's practice. What is this? Is this a steering wheel? That's right. This is a steering wheel. And what do you do? Do you steer the car with the steering wheel? That's right, you steer the car with the steering wheel. Let's practice. What are these? Are these two steers? That's right, these are two steers. And what are the steers doing? Are they helping the farmer? That's right, the steers are helping the farmer. So remember the pronunciation difference. This word is stir, er, stir. You stir the soup. And this word is steer. You can steer your car, and some bulls are referred to as steers. This is also not correct. Again, it all depends on the situation. The word is not pronounced situation. We don't say situation, we say situ. The U is pronounced with a long U sound. U. Together, situ. So the T makes a CH sound, like chicken. Situ. Situation. Because there's no stress on the U, we change the T to the CH sound. Situation. Situation. After the U, situ, we need to link the U with the A. So we have an extra sound. It's like a W, -w sound, like a W, to link these two vowels. Situ, w -w situation. Situation. Because the situation is even less simple than you think. I tried you at home, and we've got a situation here. Also, another great example here is with the word maths. This is also not correct. In America, we never say maths. Maybe in England they do, but not in America. Math is always in a singular form, math. And you use the action is. Math is not my favorite subject. Let's practice. Is math your favorite subject? Very good. This is not correct. So, for example, did you like the movie? Native speakers will usually say, did you? Did you like the movie? This j sound. This is how they would say it in connected speech. We cannot say, did you like the movie? It's not did you. It's did you. So we pronounce the first D as a real D. D, 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 J. The second D changes to the J sound, like juice and jump. So together, did you. Not did you, but did, did you. Did you like the movie? Sometimes people speak very fast and you can hear ju. Did you like the movie? Did you like the movie? Sometimes when people speak very fast, they pronounce it like that. But the best way is did you, did you. Link the sounds. Did you like the movie? What'd you say? Why did you text me then? Why did you text Renee? What did you think was going to happen? What exactly did you think they were going to do? Did you tell the girl how you felt about her? One of our viewers had a question about this pronunciation of the word continue. My team and I will continue to work hard to make content that you like. It's not pronounced continue. It's pronounced continue. We have to use a short sound I like this is. We have the letter I, which makes the sound I, and it's a stressed syllable continue. We cannot change that sound. We cannot say continue. We have to use the I sound, continue. Example, if you continue to practice English, your English will get better. 
Let's practice. If you continue to practice English, will your English get better? That's right. If you continue to practice English, your English will get better. Of course, we'll continue to monitor everything. Hide the boats and continue on foot. Are you sure you want to continue with the case? Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.